I'd like to welcome you to a series of videos I'm going to try to share. Uh, we are beginning farmers and on this new farm we've had to learn a lot of things looking for some resources to, to implement uh, some practices and how do we come about gaining that knowledge except for the internet and we found that there's a lack of knowledge out there and lack of information so we've relied on some friends and some neighbors but I hope I can share some knowledge that I've gained with you guys. So today I'm going to talk about uh, a new product I just got, just set it up today. It's a cone, a hay ring cone feeder. I got this from our local co-op. Um, I'm going to talk to you, share a little bit about the, the benefits of it, um, some of the some of the, da the, the withdrawal, the drawbacks from it, but um, as you see the cows are comfortable with it already. So uh, the cone feeder here, a hay ring is an important part of a farm. Uh, you're going to need one uh, eventually. I decided to go with this cone feeder uh, after doing some research. The information that I, that I found shows that a, a traditional hay ring uh, with maybe no sheeted sides, slant bars, and that's it, uh, you're looking at like a 25% waste. Uh, um, these figures are, are uh, relative and, and may find a little skewed here or there, but 25% is a good, a good uh, average. 25% waste, so every four rolls of hay that you feed in this feeder, and, and not this feeder, in the regular hay ring, you're losing one roll for every four rolls. So pretty big loss and uh, hay's not getting any cheaper at let's say $30 uh, for a roll you, know, you can do the math on that throughout the year a traditional hay feeder you're looking at maybe to around the $200 range this is this particular feeder is a $599 from co-op uh, locally for me now it's a pretty big difference but uh, if you do the math you'll see where uh, that that'll make up for itself pretty quickly especially if you have a long winter and you have to feed a lot of hay or a lot of cows um, now this hay ring uh, pretty easy to set up, uh, and, and I'm going I'm to get the camera here, I'm going to walk you through and kind of show you how that was set up there. Alright, uh, as you can see there's a cone in the middle, and of course i got the sheeted sides, which is a pretty important uh, as the cows go in, uh, as you can see the cross there, uh, she's trying to get in there. But, uh, the cows go in, they pull the hay out of the cone, um, sometimes they'll get kicked outside of the ring, they won't eat that. Uh, this prevents that from happening where they can still possibly consume it and get some of the nutrients that we're trying to give them. Um, also, uh, uh, I'm going to get a little closer here. The bottom of the cone, you can see there's, there's these clips here, uh, carabiner type style things, very heavy duty. Um, they hold all these bars that come together in the center to for, form this corn. They, they, they hold all that, uh, that cone together there. Uh, and you can see this is it's a super heavy duty uh, brand. Um, you can see here's the, if you're interested in it, here's actually name and the item number and everything on there uh, for the co-op at the top you got some chains that loop around uh, you can see all the way around there there's chains at each and every bar now I'm gonna get inside here and show you, uh, you see that some more carabiners holding each and every post together and that's all the way around the same uh, pretty simple uh, to put together the most difficult part part this is a, a three-piece uh, hay ring um, it has some, some bolts here, I'll show you that they bolt together. Uh, getting those things lined up is a little difficult, but as you can see, this hay ring has got all the features. It's got the slant bars, uh, it's a very heavy, very, very heavy uh, hay ring. It's not a one-man job to flip this thing over and roll it around. Um, and, uh, and, and solid. I, now, as far as longevity, I can't tell you. The sticker says super heavy duty, so let's say, I don't know, hopefully my lifetime maybe. Uh, but at, at the cost savings for this being $600 and uh, the other one being around $200, I, I believe that you, you're going to save a lot of money. Uh, just in the first year, you're going to make your money back after that is, is a, a, a bonus, is a plus. So I picked this up with my tractor and moved it out here. I have yet to feed in it, but we'll see how that goes. So um, Anyway, this is the cone feeder. I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Uh, like I said, uh, look at the statistics, you know, research for yourself, but... It, it impressed me. It was it was worth the cost. I actually got two of them. Uh, I've got another one over here in a side pen where I've got my bull. You see he's scratching on it there. And uh, I, I think it's going to save me a lot of time and uh, a lot of money. I won't have to move my hay ring as much as a benefit. won't be as much waste on the ground. And uh, my cows are going to get the nutrients uh, throughout the winter and when our grass gets low here. so Which is getting close to being feeding time. So uh, I'll come back with you some more videos. And uh, if you have any questions, comment below, and thank you for your time.